gentlemen, this is Vince Miller. Thanks so much for joining me for this devotional. Today we're in Proverbs chapter 17, verse 24, which reads, The discerning sets his face toward wisdom, but the eyes of a fool are on the ends of the earth. Now, this proverb has all kinds of great stuff in it. That's why it caught my attention. The imagery talks about the eyes and where we look but it's not implying physical sight, of course. It's talking about the vision of a spiritual man's mind, where a godly man sets his mind. The hint to this is actually found in the adjective discerning. You see, discernment is something we do in our minds, right? It's how we look at things from a spiritual mindset. And the proverb suggests that a man whose mind is set toward wisdom, wisdom, gains discernment for all the decisions that come his way. So now we have to define this word wisdom because it's the secret to having discernment in our life. So in the Oxford Dictionary, wisdom is defined as the quality of having experience or knowledge or good judgment. Now, this may be a good natural definition, but it's not a good definition for wisdom in this text. And here's why. The wisdom here in this text is not a reference to worldly wisdom at all. It assumes a wisdom only known by a spiritual man. It is something known by a man with a redeemed mind. And the man who has a redeemed mind knows that only God has wisdom. (laughs) And there's only one way to get it. It's by fearing the Lord. Just recall a verse from some of our previous reading as we've been navigating through the book of Proverbs. Go back to Proverbs 9 verse 10. It says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So a man who fears God is actually wise. He can see and understand and thus know the tip of wisdom, the beginning of wisdom. And it's this man, a man with a redeemed mind, who understands that his former natural mind and its reasoning were fallen and corrupt. This means that the former man could not have enough experience and knowledge to make any good judgment as the Oxford Dictionary would suggest, right? This was because our former mind was depraved and thus lacked true discernment. Thus, we see the contrast with the fool in the text now, and his sight is not set on spiritual wisdom. It's set on worldly wisdom, and thus he ends up chasing a lot of things to the ends of the earth, it says. And we can deduce that this man fears the world and not God. The object he fears must be different because it ain't God. You know, I think a lot of our challenges as followers would be resolved today by just starting each and every day by setting our minds on, well, fearing the one we should be fearing, the Lord. By fearing God more than fearing anything of the world. You see, we don't need to fear things like inflation and scarcity and war and disease and governments and political parties and presidents. Now, people of this world will focus on them and they will fear them for sure. And they will persuade us to fear them too, won't they? They will work hard at this. And then there are some of these concerns that actually are real, by the way, right? But we fear, we gentlemen fear something greater, God, God himself. And guess what? God fears nothing. (laughs) And when we start each day with this fear, a fear of God, and keep coming back to it when worldly fears arise, we learn spiritual wisdom and see with greater discernment. Isn't this a great word today? Hope you loved it. Guys, if you loved it, give it a like, give it a share, subscribe below. If you need anything from me, reach out to me. But with that, I'll see you right back here again tomorrow.